hello and welcome back to software inc now that we finished our servers in here which are looking quite nice if i might say so myself we need i like this area as well <laughs> we need to actually build our um logistics system here or uh, printers and all that sort of stuff to actually get some copies out and instead of paying the money for someone to do it let's do it ourselves so that's the goal for today um we still have the the hard os3 here under development we are finishing iteration 3 of fire spy 7 we are almost halfway through the iteration 4 of software party soundfy is uh started iteration 3 and we almost actually we finish uh porting pencil 2d and we are now more than halfway through uh, software limited and we are porting to this operating system that's why we haven't released that yet so going back to what we have here for today is basically building this right i will be honest i don't remember how to do it because it's been so long since the last time i've done uh these things in here and i'm not quite sure if i have the if i remember things properly i know that we go into distribution and then we have options right but now we also have conveyor belts which i don't believe we had before so we are probably using the biggest uh, printer that we can find so this is a small medium large printer and these are component printer and recycling so this is to build hardware which we are not doing we're using just a product printer and this one can do 2000 copies per box 48000 copies per month so okay which is the maximum i guess i'll have a few of those i'll put it down oh i have no idea how this works so let's bring some light in here just so we can see what we are doing and i'll probably throw some windows in there otherwise let's do this just so it has more light in there and then we go back to this and then we look at how this looks okay i guess from there we need a conveyor belt uh, i think this is the wrong one this is your silly mounted conveyor belt all right this is the one on the floor there we go okay so that's what we need to do there and conveyor ramp okay what else do we have here we have conveyor splitter nice wall mounted conveyor belts and then pallets pallets can support up to 27 box of copies needs to be in the same room as a printer and drop point drop drops boxes into pallets if the conveyor belt is backed up and pick up point picks box up from pallets if the conveyor belt is empty and garage port ships box straight to your courier's front door all right so we need a door for that i guess we can have two of them in here maybe i have one in the air and one in there i guess how does that look yep that looks centered and it's on the main road as well as the main the main entrance so i guess that's fine um now from here i believe we need uh, that might be the challenge okay let me move this perfect that means that we can basically have this align on this wall 
I noticed that they need access on the sides there. But let's see if I duplicate this. They need access to just one side and that's perfect. Good. This makes like a tone. If I, if I look at this, uh, we are going to make 2000 copies per box, 40,000 copies per month. We have eight times all that number. So that's a big number. That's what it is. Do we need more? That's a good question. If we need more, we could actually line this against the wall in here, on both walls, actually, and make it meet. Oh, yes, I have an idea. Let's see if this works. Grab all of this, move, and we shift position like so. <laughs> And then we duplicate our capacity by moving this around here. And then I think we just have one issue there, how people will actually get there. Well, guess what? We can just move this slightly to the side, leaving a gap at the back. Like so... In this one, we do the same thing. There. And then, uh, unfortunately, that'll be a bit weird up here. So, how do we do this? Now, from here, how do we want to go all the way up there? To be honest, I think we could go all the way here and then we split this through the both sides and we put all these pallets around that. I think that'll be a little bit better. So that means that all of you are going away. I don't know if we will ever use all of that, but I don't know, right? We will try. If we are overdoing things, then we are overdoing things. So this one, drop box into pallets if they are backed up, and this one picks it up. So there and there. Now I'll try this again and see if that's going to work. All right, we have like a few weird gaps in there, but I think we'll make it work. So for this one, go with this one, this one, and then this one will go away. Okay, I hope this is more than enough. What else do we need here? We have a helipad, automatically gets up to 108 boxes in the stratosphere for 6,500 a pop. That seems like quite expensive. Not so sure. We have to see how much we pay for couriers and then we we take a look at that. Um, this is wrong. So you go there and you go there. Okay. This is now all looking good. Can I select this style of all of these, like all that. All right, like this. That looks quite nice. Oh, I just noticed that we don't have access to this side too. <laughs> Doing it. We'll see. Maybe just this door over there and then we get a security door. Security desk. And then I guess you can stay right here. Why not? And we need some cameras and alarm and all that sort of stuff. So fire alarm, we can have one 
Am I missing anything else? I honestly don't think so, but you never know. Why the plant in there? Just because. <laughs> we can do some pathways in here just to make sure this is all connected. And to be honest, it feels like it's better if we do something like this. There we go. I know that people will be walking around here anyway, so that makes sense. Something that we don't have here are actually car parks and they are quite large. Ugh. Do we use this road to make that happen? Or should I just say these are the car parks for delivery. Let me see. Well, I have to buy that plot if I want to make that. Let's do it. Why not? Let's go back here, go back to plots, and buy this one. And now I can say that this one Actually, I might do this. And there'll be deliveries. I think so. We can try it out. Staff is unable to reach this fluorescent lamp. Yeah, I was afraid that they wouldn't manage that. Hmm. One thing missing here, um, the materials for everything. I think I am gonna go with this one for the exterior. Actually, I'll select the whole beauty. So select the select the entire beauty. And then we do that. Materials, this one. I might go up as well interior and could be this one or this one i think I, i'll go with this one it's a little bit different and for the floor well not wood maybe we just go with that one and then we change the colors so exterior yeah this one Interior, you have. Oh, you basically just have like shades. Uh, I can change this in here. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe just white would be enough. And then the floor, we put like some sort of gray. Yeah, that'd be all right, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Now for our stuff, we do need some security guards. So starting at eight, I need at least one more. So let's create a little bit more space for us to add our names in there. There we go. And I want it a little bit smaller so it doesn't compete with this one. And that's just a small note that that's a hard beauty and yeah we don't have like air comb in there or anything like that but let's see how that goes i don't know if we need what i can do in here is looking at our release we might need to keep oops not this one this one so we have sixteen thousand units in stock Let's start printing uh, how many copies you'd like to have. I don't want to do that. Maybe we start printing and let's see 25,000. And 
a maximum. How many copies would like to have in stock before the print is paused? So let's do. We are selling a lot of these, right? I'll keep 50,000 in stock. And hopefully these will start printing. Let's take a look. Could you please print? Oh, yes. There we go. And it's stopping there. Now, we need to figure out couriers. I have no idea at the moment how many couriers we might need. So what I'll do, I will... Mm, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Let's see. Starting at 6, we get two couriers. And then starting at 4, we get 2. Starting at 8, we get 2. Oops, that's wrong. Um, 8, okay, there we go. And then starting at 12, we get 2. Starting, where are they? I lost right ah, here. Starting at 12, we get two. Good. And starting at 16, we get two more. And starting at 20, we get two more. And that goes full time. Hopefully, that will be enough. So let's take a look at everything else in here. What else do we need or do we want to keep building? Start printing. Let's keep. 50,000 in stock and that's a maximum of 50,000 good that's what we need and then for past month zero really all right for hard OS let's start printing a maximum of 50,000 I know that most of these won't print anything at the moment but at least we we keep that in mind that we have something building like antivirus file spy 6 start printing a maximum of 25,000 on this one so we always have some units there this one I'll stop and hopefully this will all work as it should yeah that that is more being printed and we have some boxes waiting there boxes waiting here i think this is all working i'm just concerned about burglars but we'll see how that goes and there we go i think it's all working the couriers took the um Oh, that was a big lighting. The couriers took the, the boxes over there. And as we start doing uh, printing those new uh, softwares that we have, then these will start to get like quite a lot busier. If we look at, I think it's in here. Yeah, software printing. We have a printing capacity of 7,000. Oh, 768,000 copies per month, which is, I think, it's quite good. I don't know if we print that many. Uh, print sold, go in storage. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. We are all good there. If we look at the release, we should have this in storage. There we go, courier pick it up and deliver it. Good, so this is working. Now, that's fantastic. I think we've managed now to get our uh, distribution server and our um, software printing all happening. Oh, thanks to D does not meet demands. Really? Thanks to D in stock 13 so we need to actually make more 
50,000 isn't enough. So 800, and this should start printing a lot more. Yeah, there we go. Have a lot of boxes in there. And one reward, hmm, why? Shipped 100,000 products. Let's see what we get from that. Box elevator, good. We just have one more reward to do. Distribute heat and cooling through your offices. I still have to figure out what's happening there. But yeah, I think now we should be all right. Now we have like 100,000 stock. We should be able to sell everything and that won't be a problem anymore. At least I hope it's not going to be a problem anymore. But there we go. We have one, two, three, four softwares being done. We have our distribution up and running. We also have a lot of money in the bank, which I will deposit we with a distribution the digital distribution we are a hundred percent everyone is using our distribution that's fantastic for deals we we have one hosting deal let's get that i don't know why not and yeah i think this is working pretty well uh server load 1.43 percent we are way way ahead of the curve here we can do a lot more and not have any problems at all and two more companies sign our distribution deal yes keep it coming so there we go with that view of all those boxes being shipped i think this is where we will leave this episode um was just me trying to figure out this printing process and making sure that everything was in the right place and but I, I'm happy with this. Now we have something else sorted and that we don't have to worry every single month, month. Basically looking at how many copies we have in stock and how many we need to print every month. We don't have that anymore. We can automate this process, which is fantastic. Now, if you like this video, if you like this new build here, let me show the, the whole thing. There we go. We have Horde Company, uh, the HQ on the left side on the right side we have our distribution center and if you enjoy it please leave a like and consider subscribing as well so you can see what happens next because next we are focusing on this release we have a lot of softwares being built at the moment and i want to make sure that they are successful so thanks and i'll see you in the next one bye bye